This video will show you how to use KitCore and KitCore Deluxe with Apple's GarageBand. First we'll create a new track, which is a software instrument track, because KitCore is an AU plugin virtual instrument. I'll choose drum kits and then Apple's preset of a pop kit, but I will reassign the pop kit to KitCore as the sound generator. I'll rename this uh, KitCore Acoustic because in this demo we're going to show you how to create an acoustic drum kit part, a Latin percussion part, as well as an electronic drum set part, all using the one copy of KitCore or KitCore Deluxe that you purchase. So there's the KitCore user interface. We can see Ben Smith from Heart. It's his drum kit that we're using for a sound source. We're going to look in the Groove browser. Grooves are arranged as songwriter-friendly groove sets where the drummer sat down and basically played a whole song of A, B sections with fills. And as a songwriter, you can see the way the drummer referenced everything together and automatically find parts that go well together. So here we're going to look in this uh, groove set by J.A., which is Jeff Anthony, Sheryl Crow's drummer. And so there's a fill and some basic beats. We'll use the Q mode that you see down there underneath the stop and play button so that we can audition how grooves go with one another. So we can see how a beat goes from a verse to a chorus, or from a fill to a verse, or what have you. So we're going to start out the song with a drum fill. And so we'll just grab this one here. We simply drag it and drop it to our track. Now we'll go find our verse section. Then we'll choose to have it go to the rides, to the ride part there for our chorus. Great. And so I can just drag and drop those into the track as well. Great. So there's my acoustic drum part right there. Now I'll create another track for our Latin percussion. Just like I did the acoustic drum part, I use a software instrument track. And I'll go over and select a example drum kit from Apple's Choices there, but reassign it to KitCore as the sound generator. And now I'll name it KitCore Latin because these are going to be the Latin sounds. Now I'll pull up the Kit Core user interface. I'll select Luis Conte's Latin percussion sounds. It's a real well-known Latin percussionist who's played with uh, Sergio Mendez, Madonna, Eric Clapton, Pat Metheny, a whole host of great players. So I'll now I'll set the loop inside of GarageBand to be my verse section there. And I can audition different Latin percussion parts against that verse beat. A little triangle. I think I want some conga. So here we'll find a conga part that'll fit in there nicely. Just drag it and drop it. Now I reset the loop to my chorus with the ride cymbal part. And I want something a little more frenetic for that. So I'll grab the uh, full-on groove there. Still have the same groove set. And now it's time to create my electronic drum track. Again, all this is from one copy of KitCore that I purchased which is $49 on the Submersible Music website. Or if you want a, a greater variation of over 100 drum kits and over 3,000 MIDI files, get KitCore Deluxe, which is only $99 from music software resellers as well as the website. So there's the classic electronic, or the beefier one, this hip-hop kit. You 
just find a good supporting beat there just to get some boom happening so I just drag that over to my chorus section and extend my loop out and then we can listen to it all together So there I get acoustic drums, Latin sounds, and electronic drums, all from one copy of KitCore, which is $49, downloadable from the submersiblemusic.com website. Or if you want a lot more sounds, you can get KitCore Deluxe, which features over 100 drum kits and over 3,000 MIDI beats. Check it out at submersiblemusic.com. Thanks.